Hello everyone, welcome to our virtual meetup. It used to be in person every month, but thanks to COVID and COVID, we now meet every week virtually. It's one of the side benefits of being at home and being virtual. Today, it is my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Manish Bhadia. Manish is partner at Think AI Corporation. They are a gold certified Microsoft partner. Think AI, they work in data and AI space. Manish has ex extensive experience in the industry. Manish is also president of the International Association of Microsoft Channel Partners, or IAMCP, the Southern California chapter. Manish was awarded the 2019 IAMCP SoCal Partner Choice Award and also awarded by the Asian Business Association of Orange County, of which I was also a volunteer of. He received the 2019 Presidential Award from Asian Business Association. So many is also very much engaged in nonprofit work. So thank you for doing that, Manish. And Think AI recently got included into Microsoft's inner circle for AI, which is, um, I think, a remarkable achievement. So today, Manish is going to speak about chatbots, AI-driven chatbots to be specific. If you have any questions, please post them using the Q&A button. Uh, you can also send chat messages to us, but preferably the Q&A button. And we will get to those questions at the end. So Manish is going to first present on chatbots. In fact, their company has built their own chatbots, which makes it even more interesting. So with that, over to you, Manish. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, Pramod. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. And uh, it's my pleasure to share some information on the AI-based chatbot with that, um, as everybody know, Manish with uh, ThinkAI, here is a URL in, in case you want to connect uh, on LinkedIn. Um, I have kept the agenda simple. It's uh, let's cover what is AI, how AI is providing benefits, key use cases, and how chatbot fits into those. With that, uh, let's just cover a basic definition of AI. So the AI is capability of machine to imitate intelligent human behavior. Through AI machine can analyze images, comprehend speeches, interact in natural way and make predictions. So machines are becoming intelligent or having cognitive ability with the AI. So in the past, we would uh, learn technology and use it in a certain way. So uh, technology would be very predictable. The way it has been taught, it has been programmed, that is how it would react or help us. But with AI, it has the abilities to become more helpful in different ways because it's listening, it's observing or it has vision capability. It, it can comprehend a text or a speech and allow to you to interact with the AI or it can dictate you things, right? So that's how the AI comes into picture where technology with the use of AI is becoming more helpful and actually it's changing its behavior also. Okay, now that uh, is out of the way why we are thinking about AI. So three things. One is uh, with the um, right now scenario, right? Like 24 by seven availability of Amazon or the apps on the hands of people, their experience is increasing. So no more you are designing a system which is getting compared with the, your previous version or the your competition product. It's getting compared with the, what's in the hand of the people like, you know, the quick text application or um, Uber, then YouTube, 
those kind of applications. So people are used to having a great experience. In addition, they are used to having 24 by seven availability. So you need to be reacting fast or you need to be providing the better experience by available, being available 24 by seven. And third is personal, personalization. It has to be geared towards me or whatever uh, my persona is, you need to provide the content or the experience related to that. And that is where AI is coming into picture because with the rise of cloud computing, the availability of big data and machines capability, you are able to have much better um, better use of AI. In the past, uh, the in, in recent years, the the error rate for the speech recognition has gone down from 26% error rate to 4%. Image recognition uh, error rate has gone down from 28% to 7%. You all use a smartphone and then use a phone to open, open the phone instead of the passcodes with the face recognition. So you can see the example of that. You use Siri or Alexa for speaking to the smartphone. So that is the speech recognition example. So that is the reason now more use of AI is coming into picture and you can re rely on it. So now if you start using AI, what will be the benefits, right? So three things. The very first thing is all about the productivity. Um, people will become more productive, employees, and uh, the team will become more productive. The second is the automation. So systems will interact better in various ways. And then third is all about the data. All these latest technologies are creating data in bulk. And with that comes the power of uh, the insights. So that can be applied. Some quick more uh, statistics about uh, what is the promise, right? Because on average, the statistics say that 2.8 hours per day is getting wasted by employees, which uh, equal, uh, equals to seven days in a month or 4.2 months per year, which is pretty much like 20, more than 25% or 30% kind of scenario in a year. So that's a big saving if you talk about uh, the impact of AI. Other statistics I would want to show is same thing, right? Like the, the value gains in different area of AI, which could be productivity, personalization, time saved or quality. Labor productivity is the biggest uh, gain for anybody. Up to 55% of the gain from AI will directly impact the labor productivity. In addition, you will have uh, the better revenue better operating margin with the use of latest technology. So the, there are benefits of AI, right? So let's look at the AI use case right away, what companies can start. So you start thinking about AI, but AI is costly as well. When you are implementing it, you will have to implement the whole algorithm and then machine learning, data processing, everything that will cost money. So what are the quick wins for the, the organization. Um, before I go to the actual use, let's a uh, couple of example I'll also take. So this is a simple example where AI is able to detect a image and t tell you whether it's a image which is good to be used in your website or it's a racy or adult image, which is, should not be used in your uh, communication material. So that's where it can use speech recognition, everybody has been using GPS. We pretty much are aware of how the speech recognition work. And language uh, understanding or, you know, AI processing the language, which is uh, one of the example of chatbot also. So here the example is the, the meeting recording can be summarized by the bot or the the application which is using the AI web search is another example. Uh, coming to our use of 
um, in our environment. So three ways, three ways you want to utilize the AI application. The very first simple way is make existing application conversational or apply the bot in front of the traditional application or the new application so that it can interact in a conversational manner. Example is the website having the bot to allow user to navigate the website or make buying decisions using the bot. So that will be the example of conversational as an agent on the website. Similarly, similarly ERP application or custom application could be having the bot in front of the existing application. Intelligent app is where you actually bring more intelligence to your application by vision, uh, speech recognition, um, conversation, and more kind of AI application into the existing application. And business processes where we were talking about uh, automation or using the data to actually bring more intelligence to the business process and improve the automation. So as I said, first uh, example directly connects to the use of chatbot. Second is use pre-built AI, you use APIs or create your custom AI. And then the third is using the data insight, which we talked about. Having said that, uh, we have done the implementation on the bot. So I'll give you some example on uh, the benefits of using the bot. So first is think of uh, the chatbot as a new apps or new website. In the past uh, when Y2K and later when the dot-com boom happened, everything became web-based, uh, searchable. Now, similarly in the AI area, in future you will have new way of interacting with uh, users using the bot. So that's where you will give a personality to your business or make the, your application interact, interactive. And I'll give you some example also how bot can be useful. Coming to the, some screenshot here, um, we, have a, we have a simple bot which got connected to the a ticketing system. So IT help desk, right? So people can submit tickets, search for their ticket, their ticket comes up, getting a status need not, doesn't require you to call a person, uh, see the ticket status, and uh, schedule an appointment with the with the uh, technician or uh, get your answer uh, on the on the bot itself right so this is a example simple booking has been done similar example is uh, people using uh, chatbot on amazon and returning um, getting clarification on the their returns so I've had uh, some scenario where I was able to just get my return question answered, but just by the bot. Um, Levi's.com is another example. Uh, this is not our chat bot, but I, I just wanted to highlight that, you know, if you wanted to buy a pair of jeans or some clothing, you can actually use the bot to go over and discuss uh, some information and get help also with that uh, let me go and show some example uh, these are some ai use cases i wanted to highlight that uh, in the service industry bot is a good use then in other uh, area like uh, in operation you could have predictive maintenance where ai can be used or uh, in the resource planning but before that, let me show you some example of the bot and then we'll go on how you can get started with the bot. Okay, so let me stop the, the sharing. And uh, Pramod, you still see my screen, correct? Yeah, okay. Yes, we do. Okay, so this is a simple web page. On the right bottom, you see the bot. So bot can be simply a JavaScript, which can be on any web page. 
in fact in the mobile application also but this bot has been here where it can be very helpful to just ask simple question like tell me more about the microsoft teams if a new new hire has come and they don't have much information this they, they can browse uh, so show sharepoint help uh, that is simply conversational way now your answer need not be textual it can be a visual or cards also uh, you can click on it and you can direct to different pages youtube or internal pages those kind of scenario or you can have quick buttons here right like you can guide people that this is where you click and get some information so like that learn more is all the videos you want a new hire to go through so that kind of example can be in this uh, in this manner in the bottom you can see more more example like uh, this our bot is actually connected to the crm system and ticketing system also so if i go to opportunity it can let me look at my opportunity in the crm or um, let me view so let me take back uh, the example of ticketing so if uh, i have submitted some tickets it's going to get me list of tickets and i can quickly click here and uh, it can get me the ticket so somehow it went something wrong let me try again okay so it got me the ticket now i can see some information quickly i can add more details here or if i am in a hurry open it takes me to the crm or ticketing system and that can be one example of using one interface conversational interface having it get all kind of question and answer and let you simplify the interaction with your complex business environment so that can be one example where you can you can just provide a bot which can be integrating to many of the system behind the scene and you can know how people are interacting with your systems and you can actually simplify that with the bot as you saw the example it is connected to crm and ticketing system and can actually be very helpful in addition you can there is a big portion on the on the bot so there are multiple ways you can have a bot very simple is you can have question answer which is more like you feed the bot the question and it gives you the answer now this is ai based bot meaning it can actually be learning its own skill set as microsoft this is microsoft based bot as microsoft up, up, updates its bot framework it will be actually adding more skills to itself so it will become intelligent over the time by its own but we'll be also teaching it the the way our business talks to to make it intelligent so two ways you are in, uh, teaching it your business language you are teaching and then ai based uh, learning is also happening from the bot in addition you will interact and give us the power of your business uh, knowledge so that can be very helpful let me take another example so this is a, a when you are thinking about uh, creating a bot you will al always get a platform right so you can go to amazon get alexa platform or you can go to microsoft and get bot framework and uh, an example is here is a health bot available from microsoft so it comes with a basic diagnosis right so if i go and say hey i am having headache now this will try to give me some information it's saying give me additional uh, symptoms or i'm going to i'm going to go uh, uh, go over the assessment so i'm just going to say okay you know i don't have anything here let's go with the assessment uh, so i say none and now it's going to start diagnosing which would happen when we go to the doctor or nurse will do this but here bot can actually expedite the diagnosis by 
me giving the information to the to the bot so just maybe i can say last 4 hours uh something like that so similarly you can you can program the the thing i wanted to show was the flow can be programmed and then decision tree can be put in the bot so it can be conversational where it can be helpful but at the same time it can take uh take a decision and let people follow a guided path as well in case you want the bot to take uh, certain steps to to lead uh, the user in certain way so that's what i wanted to highlight with the bot coming back to our uh, presentation on how we will get started okay we'll just hold on i'm going to switch a screen uh which screen we are seeing um, i'm seeing how to get started with ai yeah, just box. one screen right like uh, just one yeah. one slide okay perfect yeah. perfect for that is right so how do you get started right so as we said uh, option number 1 pretty much you know there are a lot of ready to use application available i am giving you the example of microsoft app source but you can go to other areas as well second is actually you will have custom ai um so build uh, so first is buy second is build and the or third is you know just uh, use a company to implement uh, so example number 1 if you go to the app source there will be many many apps have labels just like on your phone you download apps you can download apps and it can be ready to use so that is one example we also have a bot available on microsoft app source if you uh, look for thinkai chatbot you can see that uh, the second is uh, if you are starting then there are as i said bot framework has the example of uh, some ready to use example so you download that source code and then start with that format um to customize your bot and for that the the destination will be bot framework go there there you can actually create a very simple q and a bot in 20 minutes all it ask is give me an excel and publish it and you will be able to uh have the bot now the limitation on that is of course you can manage it not anybody else you need to deploy it properly on the website or you need to modify the question answer as, as you can see right simple one needs more more customization so that's where we created a wrapper so our bot can be deployed in a one hour but it has pretty much everything available but that is a more like a custom bot um uh, other example is in the microsoft dynamics framework there are some ai builder now dynamics may be confusing that it's a whole crm and um a different world but microsoft has a ai builder which is a no code ai builder that is another example but there are other frameworks also available like that okay uh third is simple on the any consulting company like us can do that so i am ready to take some question if we have uh, before we end the presentation uh, from how you want to do yeah i think you can stop sharing your screen manish then uh, in moving the q and a here sure all right um again if you have any questions you can use the q and a button at the bottom of your screen or if you would like to ask your question i can unmute you as well just um, you know you can raise your hand or send us a message but meanwhile i think i have a couple of questions for you manish so if you ask people you know what are the favorite things to do in a given day i think speaking to customer service is probably going to be at the bottom of that list <laughs> right 
So I think this is an excellent application that um, we're trying to automate a lot of that. Uh, that it, so what is the motivation for building a chatbot um, for your company? Yeah, for us, it is the better customer experience. Uh, I'm not talking about customer service, but the when when we have AI conversation going on with our customer, it is like, hey, I want to do AI. Then they need to have an idea to implement AI and then the cost goes up. But sometimes customers are like, I want to do AI, but not ready to design or customize my AI. I want to incorporate AI. So there are two ways going on, right? Ready to use AI, adopt it for the business process or use, build your own AI. So with a startup or bigger companies, we are going after creating custom AI, but with uh, with a smaller uh, company or a company with a, within a department, the bot can be good use case for implementing an AI. So that is the reason this is ready to use, which can be very easily integrated and give a taste of AI to any company. So that was a focus. Okay. Yeah, so in terms of integration, I know I spoke about CRM and ticketing, right? Um, how about, you know, you get to a certain stage and then sometimes you do need human intervention, right? Yes. You need to pass on controls to a live person. Is it possible also with the, with the pod? Yes, yes, absolutely. As, a, as I was talking about the path, you lead the people to a certain path. You also want to do a sentiment analytics. Just with the word, people can know, hey, you know, it. I'm not feeling good or it, this sucks or uh, I'm not happy. Immediately you can say, hey, would, I, would you want me to connect to a live person and then give a button saying that click here to be connected and the person will have the history also. So that's another option, yeah. Okay. So one last question from me here. And again, if you have questions, please use the Q and A button. But, um, you know, the another aspect to AI is voice recognition. Mm -hmm. We covered that in one of the slides. So have you thought about perhaps integrating voice into your chatbot? By which what I mean is I go to a website yeah. where we have the Think AI chatbot installed. Yeah. Now, can I drive the conversation using my voice speaking into the computer microphone? Yeah, I mean, if you think about uh, the voice right now, if you if you go to any of the PC or mobile app, you have a text to voice to text conversion. With that, it this is working, but there are ways where actually bot can speak. Right now, we are not doing. You can interact with the voice, but it is more like voice to text, and then bot will way, understand yeah. text. But what you are asking is possible where bot will start speaking. And that is also possible, yeah. Okay. So if a company wants to try out your solution, I know that it's available on the Microsoft Store. Can you give us some more information? Let's say I want to try out your solution on my website. How easy it is and what is it involved? Okay, that's a good, good question. Uh, so we have two model. One is uh, right now, you can deploy it on your own Azure environment so that you don't have to share any data with us. You go to the uh, Microsoft App Source and punch in your app Azure ID and it can be deployed in two hours. Other is you request a form and then we will deploy on your Azure. So, but in both the places, uh, there is a subscription cost, but we are giving subscription free for now for just try out like a month subscription is free, but there will be cost on Azure because Microsoft, actually Microsoft also gives one month Azure free. So pretty much you can try it for a month for free and then there will be cost of the, the AI um, cloud cost, yeah. All right, that makes sense. Okay, I don't see any other questions coming through here. Again, this recording will be made available on our week. Meetup website as well as on YouTube. So uh, promote I, in next 
I had two yes, more sir. slides uh, if you want. Oh, yeah, please go ahead. I mean, of but course, that yeah. was just That's about fine. what other services on Think AI. So, Certainly, yeah. Just a second. I'll, I'll just. Uh, so, as, as you saw, it's all the all. Uh, everything is about uh, integration applications. So, on the left, it's all cloud work. On the right top, you can see it's all about the application, whether it's a mobile app, web app, or AI apps. It's all about the integration you saw about, you know, Dynamics or uh, different application. This is all the roadmap and strategy work. And uh, you did cover about the awards, different awards we have received. So thank you about that. And here is my contact info in case anybody has to reach me with that. Promote back to you. All right. Thank you, Manish. Once again, do join us next week, everybody. We have Comer presenting on computer vision. So that's going to be an interesting follow up to chatbots. And I see Comer on the line here listening into this meetup. So once again, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Manish. We really appreciate it. And if you have any further questions for Manish, I think it's a very catchy name, Think AI. So it should be very easy to find on Google or Bing, since you're Microsoft, right? <laughs> Pramos, thank All you right. very much. Thank you very much for letting me speak here. All right. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.